What's up, dudes? How's it going? Today, Zach Blake here, and today we're in PC Building Simulator. Now, this one is a kind of, I feel like it's a dry simulator because you kind of just do what the simulator says. But I mean, it's still a simulator, still fun, kind of a thing that we could do together. And um, a lot of people kind of wonder, you know, nowadays, like how computers even work. When you say, hey, I, I, build, my com I build my own computers, you know, people go like, well, you all how do you build computers? You must be like an electrical technician and blah, blah, blah. Like, honestly, it's pretty easy. You watch, you know, like, two videos on YouTube and you kind of know how to do it. But um, people kind of see it as a mystery. And a lot of people don't get PCs because they think, oh, it's too complicated. I couldn't build one myself. Or, you know, it's expensive, which, which is true. It is pretty expensive. As you can see, look at our account balance. is 2000 That's a lot. Especially for, you know, uh, people who are younger don't have jobs and stuff. So, I mean, it's kind of expensive if you want to get a really good one. But... Building wise computers are pretty simple. I mean, it's literally like plug-and-play kind of thing and um, I think maybe we can showcase how to do that. I mean, we got a lot of parts here, but um, it says platform rotation tools. Whoa. All right, sick, but um, Hi, and welcome to the PC building simulator to get started with the tutorial press I after you close this window So open your inventory all the parts you own are shown in the inventory along with the quantity you have close the inventory after you're done to continue with the tutorial you can press T to toggle this window and Q to quit the tutorial. All right. So press I and we got, okay, look, we got a dummy CPU, thermal intake, smart 500 watts, DVD, blah, 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 blah. So basically what you're going to need is uh, let's start off with the motherboard. So we, we get choice of one motherboard, an Asus P8, P6, 6, 7. And um, I, I don't want to make this complicated because it is pretty easy. Uh, but there are two different, I think, types of motherboards. There's ATX and mini ATX, there's like full ATX, and basically that means like the size of the motherboard, which is pretty simple. They give you one size here, I guess, but um, we'll, we'll see how good this is to get started. Building your computer, navigate to the miscellaneous category, blah, blah, blah. Don't need to know any of that, but see right here, um, what ATX is basically, it's like the size of your case, um, because your case is technically like your computer. Like if you had a PS4, it would be like, that's the size of your PS4, so that's the size of your motherboard, kind of, and the inside. So you can see, the motherboard is is pretty big. So this is probably a full ATX, that's what they would call this. And this is a fully ATX case. So now we got the motherboard installed as you look at the nice beauty of its blue colors and design. Um, we can move on and add the next thing. And so, um, you know, what the motherboard needs is a CPU. So, CPU-wise, let's see what we could do. We get one CPU the dummy CPU and you plug that into right here. Hold on. I don't even think we can. Oh, okay. We have to open it ourselves first. All right, here we go. It's all slow. Nice, nice and smooth though. We can install that CPU. Um, I don't know if we need thermal paste, but sometimes you need thermal paste. Um, I don't know if they have that in depth, but hey, yeah, we do have thermal paste. And so we, we just slather that on and then we can close this up. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is not that complicated, but you kind of get into the gist of it. We're already starting up, and we already got all this stuff on there. Now we need a cooling fan for that. So, cooling, uh, simple fan. Let's just go with a simple fan. Oh, wait, no, we don't want to open that again. Close. Close. No, close, please. Close. Stop. Close. Close. There you go. <laughs> all right. So, hold on. Uh, simple fan. Or, here, look, hold on. Cooling, cooling. Stock cooler. I guess that's the one that comes with it. Yeah, you screw it in. Boom. Simple. Now we go to graphics cards. We'll just install um, one right here and one right here. We'll get dual graphics cards in here, but um, that's going to need a little bit more power. Um, power, we only got one choice, so it's probably enough. We'll place that right there. Boom. Hold on. Let's see what that says on the bottom. I don't even know what that says. To change project? Huh. No, we're not done yet. So um, now from there... We need the best memory on the market. We got the HyperX DDR3. Okay, so basically, you know, building computers is pretty easy. I, I don't know if I've made it complicated sounding, but as you can see, we all we did was like put that in there. And technically, if you were doing this in real life, you just screw it in. You take your CPU that you bought, you plug it in. You take the fan that comes with the CPU, you plug it in. You take the GP, the GPU, the graphics card, you plug it in, plug it in, you screw it in over here. Uh, it, I don't think it goes that in depth where you gotta screw in all this stuff. You take your power, you screw it in, and now we have DDR3 RAM. That's uh, that's all you gotta do is find the RAM. So let's go to memory. Boom, you get the RAM, and you plug it in. But it's not letting me here. Hold on. Let's see if um, it'll let me get closer. Nope, I can't get closer. 
So, hold on. That's where the RAM goes. I don't know why it's not letting me go to the RAM. So, let's see. Storage, storage, memory. Boom. Nope. I guess we're not going to be putting in RAM today because it doesn't let you. But, um, let's see. We need... Oh, no. Do we... To install standoffs, hover your mouse over the highlight slots and press left. Oh, no. We didn't do that. Ooh. All right. Well... Uh, I didn't, I didn't do it, but you're supposed to have, um, things that lift the motherboard away from the case, and we didn't do it, but let's just, let's pretend like we did, because, um, that, we don't have the screw-in option, so I, I kind of forgot about that, but you screw in, like, a little back things on the, on the thing to make sure your motherboard is away from the case, so it's, like, sitting like that, but, um, now this is all sounding complicated, gosh, but it's, it's not, so we have the hard disk that we can just put in here. It connects to the thing. I don't think we have any cords. Like, you can't plug in the cords in this simulation. So, I don't know. So, we can even put in the DVD drive, too. Where is it? Here. Where, where Can we put it up there? We got it. Nope. It's not letting us. It's probably... This is this is still in beta, like a beta game. So, we already got all our processes. Um, Memory-wise, we can put in the memory. Like, I tried. It doesn't work. But we already did the power supply. We already did the storage. Um, cooling, simple fan, we could put that here, and maybe on top, no, but we could put one here, yes, we got some cooling in there, and we've already done everything else, we have, like, a drive cover, I don't even know what that is, but maybe, maybe it's cool, <laughs> I don't know, let's see, install drive cover, oh, yeah, yeah, that's sick, all right, I don't, I don't even know, all right, we got the IO shield, what is, what is this? Install shield. There it is. We did it. All right. And that usually just, you'll see that and you'll like, oh, it probably goes here. We already did the thermal paste, uh, side panel. Okay, we need a back panel here, right? Let's see. Back, back panel. Oh, there it is. And, um, uh, side pan. No, I don't think we're done. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just make sure we're done. If, uh, I think we're good. All right. Um, oh, wait. We could have bought stuff. Oh, wait. So, if we just had all those parts. Uh, okay, I don't. I think we made it, though. This is basically what a computer looks like. We got all our stuff, graphics card-wise. All the, all the things that we're missing in this game is just, like, you know, plugging in the power supplies, which just can get kind of complicated. But, um, other than, like, a DVD drive that it wouldn't let me do, that's what you'd need. And, basically, that's your whole setup and, and RAM. But, uh... Huh. Maybe we needed to buy the RAM? Let's see. So, let's open this back up. If Nope, we cannot. I don't think we can. We kind of finished. And, uh, yeah. Well, I mean... This is basically what a computer is, and a lot of people have asked me before. I, I've made my computer on um, a video a long time ago because people were qu quite interested. They're like, "What is your computer made of? What what do you got in there?" And uh, yeah, this is basically the simplest way you can build a computer. <laughs> and honestly, if you watch like a YouTube video, you could probably do it yourself. And I promote PC gaming because you know. Everybody likes to play consoles, but PC is kind of the way to go because games are way cheaper. You don't get, like, ripped off with graphics-wise because sometimes on consoles, you only get, like, half the graphics, half the frames, and it kind of looks choppy, but they'll go, hmm, money, because, you know, people are like, I'll just buy it for the PS4, just put the disc in, you know. But PC is a little more complicated. You buy the games, you got to download them or, you know, go to the store to get a PC disc. And um, PC kind of goes, you know, under... Underdeve not underdeveloped, but, like, underplayed sometimes. But it is more, like, a teenage to adult thing. But, uh, yeah. So this is this is basically, like, a computer. I would say this is basically, like, my build. You know, just... I don't have two graphics cards. I have one. But that's all... That's how it looks, honestly. Oh, you could... Oh, whoa. You can, like, crouch down? Whoa. But, um, yeah. You could see all... This is, like, an old computer. We got some WD-40 over here. This is pretty cool. I wonder what this game is going to turn into. Like, eventually, if you start building computers... You know, for like a career or something. But yeah, I hope you guys like this. Found this kind of informative. Um, hopefully I entertained you for a little bit. But thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out my dudes.